It's a huge undertaking costing tens of millions of dollars to the Turkish taxpayer. So why has Turkey sacrificed so much in what many would consider a failed state? I asked this question to base commander Colonel Mehmet Yasin Kalin. Turkey's military presence here is according to a bilateral agreement between the two countries. Our aim is to help restructure the Somali army and provide them with training and armaments. What the Somali armed forces need most is discipline. They have been in a civil war for 30 years. Their military system is not functioning. The main reason is a lack of discipline. Armies are built on discipline, and we are here to provide that. Now, what is Turkey's long-term plan? Are you going to hand over this base to the Somalis, or will this be a permanent Turkish outpost in Africa? Under those agreements, we will transfer the command to our Somali brothers once they reach a certain level. These facilities are for the Somalis anyway. We will transfer the command and assume an advisory role here. I hope they will reach this level as soon as possible and start training their armies themselves. As I've mentioned, these facilities belong to the Somali people. We will make the transfer once they are ready. Colonel Colin, you say the biggest priority is to bring stability to Somalia, but doesn't that involve a political solution? We, as the Turkish Armed Forces, are just one element in providing security and stability in Somalia. The Turkish mission, under the leadership of our embassy, is also making great contributions for Somalia to become a state. The Turkish Cooperation and Coordination Agency also offers valuable services in the fields of economics, education, agriculture and irrigation, as well as several training projects. Plus, the Mary Foundation also helps in education. And above all, there is a Recep Tayyip Erdogan hospital in Somalia, which not only treats patients, but also creates a lot of love for Turkey. Colonel Colin, thank you so much.